I'm Mark Pryor. I'm the assistant uh, head coach at uh, Brazilian Top Team Bermuda. I am Marcos Tulio. I'm head coach Brazilian Top Team Bermuda. Mark, obviously something new coming to Bermuda. Uh, people have been watching and waiting for something of this nature to come. How exciting is it to be a part of putting on or taking Bermuda to another level of mm. not only boxing but fighting in Bermuda? Oh, it's very exciting. I've been working on this for a number of years now. Uh, I've been competing in sports that I'm not necessarily specialized in. Uh, I'm a grappler, but I've been competing in striking for a while since well, I've been setting this all up. And um, I've had some loyal fans, some new people interested in what we've been doing. And since we started the company, um, we've had an international UFC seminar for striking, grappling, and MMA. Uh, we've had a great response from the community. We started our anti-bullying program. But then it was time to get to work and do this full time. So um, finally we're here full time. We're bringing MMA to Bermuda um, through our team, Brazilian Top Team. Um, we have affiliated as Brazilian Top Team Bermuda and we brought down a world-class coach and Professor Marcos Tulio. Uh, he's a third degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. What, what is Marcos' background, if you can explain that? Okay. Your background in fighting. Um, it's a it's in my experience in BJJ and experience in boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, an American top team in Florida, and Brazil, and a Brazilian top team, Fortaleza, and 30 years experience in both. It's in champion Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and champion world Jiu Jitsu, and champion Pan Americano, Asiático, and, and three belts in Naga, North Association Grappling, Information, and some, and some uh, the best grappling. It's a world USA America, okay? What do you think of the, the ones you have seen in Bermuda thus far, the athletes you've seen in Bermuda? What do you think their potential is? Uh, Bermuda grappling good? As, mm, it's new grappling in Bermuda, uh, I don't know. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's me here in Bermuda, but it's um, because it's my experience, but I'm people in Bermuda and so on, and, and grant, Grand, grand training in grappling in Bermuda, okay? And as, as there's people in Bermuda and since strikes and kickboxing, boxing, sandar, no grappling. Mm -hmm. It's here, 
<laughs> it's the best of grappling, bro. Mark, can you explain just what grappling is? Because it's something we've talked mm -hmm. about, uh, even leading up to some of the fights you've had that are not grappling here in Bermuda, but people don't get. It, it, at times, you look like you want to grab, you want to do that, but it's not the fights that you're in. So can you explain what grappling is? Absolutely. Uh, grappling is basically any martial art without any striking. Um, wrestling, judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, um, all types of wrestling. Uh, uh, there's so many arts uh, that don't involve striking. And when we're in nogi, so rash guard and shorts, that encompasses a mixed rules of all the grappling arts. And we teach that as well. Submission grappling or nogi grappling. Uh, in the gi, which our gis will arrive real, sh real soon, uh, that's when we do our traditional Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, that's when you're able to use different grips, collar chokes, uh, grab, the, grab the trousers. Uh, with nogi, there's different grips. It's a lot faster game. So for people like myself who have started off with grappling and specialize in grappling, uh, then trying to strike, it's just learning and expanding, becoming a full fighter, much like how strikers now want to learn grappling to transition to MMA, which is what we're seeing now. Um, joining our team as our membership is growing dramatically. Um, they want to learn what's new. They want to become complete fighters and everyone, all martial artists, each one teach one. That's been a philosophy for generations here and that's what people want and that's what we offer. You did mention that you were looking to have self-defense classes for, for obviously for youngsters, male and female. Um, what, what does that entail? What does, mm. well, how do you plan to grow that out under these conditions? Mm. Well, uh, it's really simple. Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is uh, a gentle art. That's what they call it. Um, it's a restraining art. It's most common now in schools, if you fight back, if you're being uh, bullied and you strike back, you hit back, you become the bully and you both get punished. But with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and how we want to show you how to use it, use these techniques, you can restrain people until help comes. You don't become the aggressor. You don't become the victim. You're empowered to protect yourself in those situations when your back is against the wall. And what we want to become is a resource for charities, a resource for other organizations to show them, look, you don't have to hit somebody to end the fight. You can choke them out. You can restrain them. You can control them until help comes. And that's what we want to focus on. And that's what we'll demonstrate during our grand opening. That will also be, um, we specialize uh, in focusing on vulnerable persons. So um, abuse victims, children, elderly, um, even some establishments uh, who are requiring some security services uh, or at least services for themselves to empower themselves. If it's within arm's reach, they might have a chance. And we want to show them exactly how much of a chance they have if these techniques are used. So yes, we train here for fighters, for average people, for vulnerable people. We have classes for everybody. And I actually thought that we'd be getting, our niche would be fighters. We're actually getting the average person. Uh, men and women in their 50s, 40s, 30s, we have teens, we have people who aren't athletic, people who are athletic, one or two fighters that are coming as well. And the, the point is, the people who have different abilities, different injuries, different things that they're working with, there's so many movements in what we teach in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, they're able to find value in that and show it and prove it and win. So everyone's having a good time.